So you're thinking about getting your real estate license, are you? Well, sit back as I discuss the good, the bad, and the ugly of being a real estate agent now. Hey y'all, Abby Husbands here. I'm a realtor in Austin, Texas. And if this is your first time stopping by, you might wanna consider subscribing to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be talking about what it's really like to be a real estate agent. And the first thing you need to know is that we are 100% commission. We are self-employed. You're a 1099 subcontractor. Um, my dad thought that I was a salary or a draw against commission when I first started as an agent, and that is not true. You pay your own taxes. There are no medical benefits, no 401k, no disability. Um, you are 100% on your own. The second thing you need to keep in mind is that you're gonna do a lot of legwork for a lot of people for free. You do not get paid on any of these transactions until you make it to the closing table. And there are hundreds of reasons that can come up as to why these people decide not to buy a home. And you need to be okay with that. If you're getting into real estate because you think that you could make a crap load of money, this is probably not the career path for you. I look at everything as an educational and relationship-based experience. So for instance, um, a couple of months ago, I was working with a couple. We were talking over the phone a lot, emailing back and forth. I was setting them up on a portal, explaining every neighborhood in Austin, our tax rate, schools, traffic, everything. And ultimately they ended up not purchasing a home. And that's okay. Like I do not get my feathers ruffled if they pick another agent. Sure, I mean, it it's, can be a blow to your ego and that rarely happens to me, but you have to get over it. You're gonna do a lot of stuff for a lot of people and not see anything in return and you need to get a backbone and be okay with that. It is a constant hustle. I am constantly hustling. If I'm not working with buyers or working with sellers, I'm trying to get out there, socialize, meet people so that they can introduce me to people that are buying or selling real estate. People are not just going to call you on the telephone and want to work with you. You have to get out there. You have to make an effort. You have to meet people. With that being said, I've heard time and time again that introverts cannot be successful real estate agents. And I want you to know that I'm an introvert and I'm a successful real estate agent. I cannot network and go into big groups of people, but I do very well with one-on-one. -on -one. So I pick activities where I can meet people or socialize. I do really well at open houses. Um, where I'm meeting people one-on-one. -on -one. You also have to be a self-starter. I mean, you have got to get up every morning, get set into a routine, get your shit done, and you constantly have to remember, this is what I tell myself, every day that I wake up, I am on 100% commission. Nobody else is paying me but me. So I get my ass out there, and I hustle and I follow up with people and I do what I say. If you're not a self-starter, if you need to be told what to do on a daily basis, if you work better in a structured environment, being a real estate agent probably isn't the best career for you. It can be very lonely and it can be very stressful. And when I say it's lonely, um, nowadays a lot of brokers don't have offices. So a lot of their agents work from home. I work from home about 85% of the time. I have a really amazing office on South Congress that I absolutely love, but every time I go in there, there is nobody there. So if you're okay being by yourself a lot, um, this is a great career choice for you. Yes, I'm dealing with other agents and um, clients, but it's not the same as working with the same people day in and day out. It's also a very rewarding career. I pride myself in being a huge communicator. I return phone calls as quickly as I can, return emails as quickly as I can, come up with an answer as quickly as I can. If that's not in your DNA, if you're like way relaxed in getting back to people or you don't like to talk on the phone and you only want to text, probably not a good career for you either, but it's very rewarding. There is nothing better than helping my clients achieve the American dream of being a homeowner. And it's also fun. Like I have a blast going out with all of my clients, looking at houses and, you know, picking them apart sometimes. So I've also met some of my best friends that started out as my clients and almost all of my clients have become my friends over the years. So it's a really 
rewarding, fabulous career choice. And also, I love being self-employed. I cannot be bossed. So I did that. I was under someone else's thumb for a majority of my um, adulthood, and I had had enough. Well, thanks again for tuning in. I hope you found this riveting. If you did, uh, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, or share this video with your family and friends. If, if you have any questions about becoming a realtor, you can reach out to me directly through my website, austin-texashomesforsale.com, or you can leave me any questions in the comments section below. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next week. Bye.